So in the previous videos, um, we looked at the DNA viruses, their characteristics, and then we summarized them into a circular and then an envelope box. And this time we are going to look at the RNA viruses and then we'll talk about their characteristics. And then in this summary, you'll be able to know um, their shapes um, and then um, their their nuclear material, how it looks like, whether it's negative sense or positive sense. And so let's begin. Um, so again, I draw this hexagon and this represents the icosahedral ones. And I'll draw this envelope representing the helical. So um, here is helical and this is icosahedral. Um, so in this box, I'm going to write all the, um, the families of the RNA viruses. So here I start by saying HEP E gives CPR to CFTR and the bad prof. So here uh, we have the bad prof here like that and so we are going to look at them one after the other so um, the summary of the box is that if you see anything in the box it is helical and if you see anything in this shape it's icosahedral the difference here is um, just these two so we'll draw a straight line here and CF over here this CF is in a box here so it is also helical and over here the TR is part of um, the icosahedral so um, just bear with me and so for whether they are negative sense or positive sense here we go so here just write positive positive and negative like that so those all those here are positive 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 negative now um, let's look at each of them so uh, here we have hep E, we all know hep E, that causes the fulminant hepatitis in um, the pregnant women. And here we have, we can see we have um, several R's in it, we have three R's. So I just call all of them um, together like this, um, Rio. And here I call this one Retro Rhabdo. So real retro rhabdo. And then the real viruses, um, we have the, the rotor and then the cultivirus. Uh, That's the Colorado tick virus. Um, for the retro viruses, we have HIV virus and we also have the um, HL, human uh, T cell leukemia virus. And we said something about this virus um, that it presents like multiple myeloma plus rash. So MM plus rash, that's this virus. Um, it's a very high yield information. And then because it's retrovirus, both um, because it's also a retrovirus, HIV and HL, uh, HTLV, um, both of them have a reverse uh, transcriptase, um, I believe. Um, so the next one that we are going to look at is um, th um this one here which is the Khaleesi virus um the, uh, this is the um, ca the Khaleesi virus so this is a um, Khaleesi virus or Khaleesi virus and then um, under them we have the norovirus norovirus yeah and the next one that we are going to um, look at is this P over here, the P is the Pecona viruses. So this is the Pecona, uh, some say Pecona viruses. And under this Pecona viruses, we call them the, we have the mnemonic Perch. Perch. They are the Perch viruses. So for this Perch um, viruses, um, we can, um, they, they, uh, how do I say it? So for this Perch viruses, they are mnemonic, is going to be um, the, pol uh, the polio, 
So this will be polio. This will be echo virus. This will be rhino virus. This will be um, the C is for Coxsackie, Coxsackie virus. And the H is the Hep A virus. And all these are enteroviruses. Um, they're enteroviruses. Um, Except, I think except um, the rhinovirus, which does not uh, infect the GI. Um, Coxsackie also will also present with a hand, foot, mouth disease and can also uh, cause some ca um, viral um, carditis. Uh, polio also, we know how it presents, causes um, polio in um, usually it's in children and then it will affect the anterior, um, anterior horn of the spinal cord. Um, so the next one that we are going to look at is um, the this is the coronavirus here corona coronavirus that's the SARS coronavirus that's what's causing the COVID nineteen um, next is the the flavi viruses so the flavi virus and with the flavi viruses also I have a mnemonic for them. So um, what I say is Saint, because also, there are also a lot. So Saint Zika uh, mix, sorry, Saint Zika and Hep C, Hep C make DW yellow, make DW. If you know DW, um, it's, um, it's a German um, news station or news channel. And it may, they make it yellow. So all the viruses we have the um, the Saint Louis virus, Saint Louis virus. We have the Zika virus over here, Zika. We have Hep C. We have a dengue, which is DW dengue. We have um, the West Nile, and then we have the yellow fever. So yellow fever will always be a patient who is feverish, has high fever, um, high fever, and also um, looks yellow or jaundiced, and that's always a yellow fever. Um, dengue fever will present with um, thrombocytopenia and bleeding, and also comes with uh, hepatomegaly. West Nile will come with uh, paralysis, like facial paralysis and cold. Um, he has Zika virus where we infect a pregnant woman and it's caused by, uh, transmitted by the mosquito. And then the child will be born with uh, an encephaly or the head will be very small. Um, yeah, so that's something that you have, you want to know about that. Um, now let's go to this side here. Um, let's go to this side. So, uh, now we have the Bunya virus, uh, Bunya virus. So this is Bunya. And an example is the hunter virus. Um, we also have um, over here we have the arena virus. Let me just cross it here. Arena virus. And how I remember this arena virus is that um, arena is like the sports arena, and then you will have um, um, rodents and those mites over there. So we have the Lassa fever. So um, Lassa. Um, fever virus and then we also have uh, LCM V virus um, the next one is the Delta virus here um, I can use a different ink this is Delta Delta and of course it's Hep D Hep D what you want to know about Hep D is that it cannot exist on its own and so um, it only comes it infects somebody who has been infected with um, Hep B and so if you give, uh, if we er eradicate or we treat somebody of Hep B or somebody has been infected and has fully recovered from Hep B, then automatically, like the person is immune to Hep D as well. Now let's come to the last one down, the, the prof. So with the prof, um, we have here, we have the, uh, the paramixo, paramixo paramixo virus. And under the paramixo virus, we have the RSV the mumps we have measles we have measles and then the para uh, sorry para influenza para influenza virus 
and then the next one we are going to look at is a rhabdo virus and rhabdo uh, the name sounds like rabies so rhabdo is rabies virus um the next one is the ortho mixo ortho uh, mixo ortho mixo virus and the only one there is the influenza. You, you want to take this influenza virus very seriously. You can uh, get more information from it in the first aid. It's behavior. Um, next one is the the philo virus. And in the philo, we have the um, Ebola. Ebola outbreak in Cote d'Ivoire right now as we speak. And then we have the Marburg virus. Yeah, it's not very tested. Um, yeah, um, let's see which one have we left out. Um, let me see here. Hep E, we talk about Hep E, fulminant uh, hepatitis in pregnant women. Uh, we talk about the percona, which are the perch. We have talked about the, um, the norovirus. So, norovirus you don't find it in the US, um, it should be somewhere in uh, um, developing countries. Uh, we have the real virus, um, and then we have the uh, under the real virus, you have the rota in the um. The culty. So one thing that you want to know about these real viruses is that they are the only, only double stranded RNA viruses. So only DS double stranded RNA viruses because um, we know that all DNA viruses are double stranded except the the parvo virus here also all rna viruses are single stranded except the the real viruses and most always most of the time they test on the rota virus so you want to be aware of that um next one is the coronavirus which is causing the sars influence uh, SARS. and then um, we also have the filovirus saint zika saint zika and hep c make dw yellow so we have saint louis zika virus hep c um, we have um, the West Nile Dengue and then the Yellow Fever. Uh, we talk about the Arena, which is the Lassa um, Delta, which is Hep D. Uh, we talk of um, Paramixo, RSV, Mumps, Measles, Parainfluenza, um, the Filoviruses, um, Ebola, Orthomixo, Influenza. So pretty much we've touched on all of them. So this is the summary of all the RNA viruses and their characteristics. Again, I said anything that you see in this icosahedral uh, triangle, or sorry, icosahedral shape, which is a hexagon. Um, so the virus is icosahedral. If you see it in, well, in this box, it means that it is, um, it is helical. So as I wrote it here, helical here, and this is icosahedral for these ones. And then we cross this into two since they intersect. So here, um, the CF belongs to this box, and then this TR belongs to this. And then we have the positive signs. Here, is, here are all also positive signs, positive signs here too, and all these are negative signs. So positive signs means that um, the viruses can directly be translated into proteins when they infect a cell, and the negative signs means that they, um, they are, um, RNA uh, should be converted into a positive sense before it can um, be made into a protein. Um, so thank you very much for watching this video uh, please like and then let me know where um, um, I need a modification or um, if you have any contribution to add uh, please leave it in the comment box for me I'll very much appreciate it um, please subscribe to my channel to get more interesting videos thank you